Okay, so I am going to try and do a commentary for this video. Uh, my brother's been bugging me about this. I told him I was putting videos up on YouTube, and he was, Dude, "Are you doing a commentary? Are you doing a commentary? Are you doing a com?" No, I'm not doing a commentary. Um, and then we had this game, and that's him over there in the ISU, and. This was a really good game, I had a lot of fun here, but it didn't really speak for itself. It wasn't self-explanatory. It really needed, uh, well, it needed a play-by-play, -play, so to speak, of how the game went down. So, three-man platoon. Uh, I'm in my E50M. I've got Polar Mac in his IS-4, and my brother, Rocker Dude, in his IS-152 with the BL-10. So he's not a, he's not dragging the team down can't remember exactly, but I think he ended up with the most damage in the game. So, he can definitely carry himself with that machine. So, Polar Max is going to take off over to the northern ridge line and help out the heavies on that side. I'm going to take my not-as-fast medium tank and wolf pack with the other tier 10s. And we've got an M60, the only one I ever saw up close. <laughs> since it was released, or I guess not released, since since they got them, it's really the only time I've ever seen one. And there were four in this fight, but I think that's the only one I ever come across. All right, two bat chats, and the T62A, and me and the E50M. So I've got the health and the uh, supposed armor for this particular wolf pack, uh, and we're gonna head down around the south end. The original idea was to try and just flock through here, I guess, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, my brother's heading up onto the ridge line there to do some sniping with his wonderful little tank destroyer there. And so I'm assuming that we are the only five tanks on this flank at the time. Um, we haven't seen anything come this way. A little hesitant, the M60 here more so than the rest of us got the bat chats running off in the 62A and I can't just let them run away and steal all the damage. Except we see a, a 121 over there and I felt like this was the first game where I was really using the E50M as a proper sniper. Um, the rest of my games in this I was taking wild shots and they were bouncing all over the place and I was just getting frustrated because it's supposed to have good penetration and I just wasn't seeing it. But once I st stopped playing like a moron it started to uh, problem started to fix itself. Now you can see there's the four of us here, and they've got a Patton and the E5, and there's a lot more than that over here. And the M60 Patton's still hanging out back there. So, my brother over on the ridge there is going to start working his way over towards us when he finds out that half the team's over here and supporting us. But until then, I'm looking at this as, well, I'm the closest thing we have to a heavy, so let's try and draw them out and take some of the fire off the bat chats and the M60 and 62A who's just sitting back there getting hammered. Well played to the enemy team, they were, you know, pick a target and get rid of them. Focus firing very effectively. And my brother's getting into position now and once I realize he's there, I start calling out back and forth with him. Get him to, you know, do you have targets? Okay, no, okay, we'll see if we can get one into your line of sight. And I'll get to the point where I'm almost just scouting for him, just making sure that he's got targets because he's got a much better gun than I do. Yeah. Although that's debatable. But just about everything in the world is debatable. And again, just not using the gun properly and it's not working. Uh, when I do use it properly it works just fine, <laughs> but when I'm, when I'm trying to heavy tank with it it didn't work too well. Although there are times where that is quite effective. Although we did hit an extreme angle on the armor, it was guaranteed to bounce. Uh, I have bounced a number of shots off the E50M. It is the most well armored of the medium tanks, uh, but it is still a medium tank. <laughs> and it won't bounce everything. 
and you shouldn't expect it to. But now we've got E5, two T57s, two E5s, two 57 heavies, uh, E100. There's another heavy over there, which I can't quite see just yet. Uh, I think it was an IS-4? Yeah, it's an IS-4. And at this point, my brother's got himself a nice spot over there, and he's going to start hammering these guys. And boy, is he going to hammer them. Uh, considering he's bottom tier, even the scouts tier 8, he's he, he is a fantastic round here. I don't do quite as well, but I was having fun. I usually have fun when I'm platooned. Works out well that way. So, at this point, I'm just... There's the four of us here, the 62 A's taken off, so there's still the four of us, us four mediums, and I'm just trying to not get shot <laughs> at this point. I'm just trying to avoid being killed before I can be useful, and uh, calling out to my brother over there and making sure that we can, can spot him targets. With all four of us here doing the, doing the spotting, it shouldn't be a problem. And we still got these two E5s here, and if all four of us ran over there, we could get one or two of them, but the rest of the heavies over there would kill us. So we're all kind of just dancing back and forth, waiting for something to happen. On the north end of the map, up here, where Polar Mac is and the others, they're, they're cleaning up. They're just destroying them all over there. Uh, I don't think we've had any losses on that side. 62 A's been destroyed. I don't know where the 1390 was. Uh, but they're they're doing quite well up there and they end up just destroying the enemy team up there and we end up just trying to uh, hold off until we can get them from both sides. But with... Now I don't know why there's an IS-7 sniping from the hill. It doesn't seem like the kind of tank you'd expect to be there. Uh, the rest of them, more or less, they, they can kind of do it, but the I-7 really, in my opinion, is in the wrong spot. You know, maybe the I-7 and I should switch places. I should be back there. He should be up here. But we win. That's all that matters. Well, that's not all that matters. I had fun, and we won. That, that helps. My brother had a beast of a game. He was knocking down tier 10s a good chunk of the time. Uh, every now and then he'd complain about a missed shot, but it wasn't that bad. I was missing shots that I shouldn't even be taking. So that makes sense. As a whole, we're, we're doing quite well. We're, we're thoroughly trouncing them. They've lost both their M60s. Uh, mostly just tier 10s dropping, but when most of the field is tier 10s, that's expected. Not too many tanks have died on this side of the field. So we've got two, two T-57 heavies, two E-5s, E-100, and the IS-4. All these guys are over here. And none of them have died yet. So you can see that they're pretty much all their team is in this little area here. You follow the cursor. They're all just down here waiting to get stomped on. And the Patton is the only thing left over here and he's not going to last too much longer. So all we have to do is hold. Uh, two Bat Chats, an M60, and an E50M holding off what is it, six, six heavy tanks while we wait for backup to arrive. The, we, we should have been murdered. We, we should have been thoroughly murdered. But we had excellent support from the hill. Um, and these guys just didn't coordinate. They pushed over out there. Uh, that's my brother's work right there. Destroying a 57 heavy. <laughs> I think he was he was laughing pretty hard at that point. Just maniacal laughter. So bouncing shots from the T110 there, right, right into you, the thickest part of my armor. And now we're they've pushed they pushed way too late and we're just mopping them up at this point. So, now I'm just a matter of survive long enough to 
not pay full repairs. <laughs> and that's it. We've done it. We've won. Uh, we got the whole platoon got. We all got kills. And he did a monster amount of damage. I think he did three or four thousand points of damage in that match. He did very well. He was very happy after that one. Um, and at, in no way was he a, a crutch to the team. So this, you, you could call it a fail platoon because it's not all tier tens, but he really held himself up, so it worked out quite well. Um, so, excellent game, taking a beating in the E50M here, just covered in holes and bounce marks. It was it was fun, a lot of fun. So until next time. Have a good one.